women mixing or women who are not abiding by the hijab and there's no program that you find women abiding by the hijab this is not the Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if you have something that you guys want us to react to, you can leave us a link or the title to that thing, and we'll actually react to it for you guys. And other than that, we've got a second YouTube channel called Funny NJC 2.0. On that channel, we post weekly vlogs. You can head there, subscribe, and enjoy the content that's there. We also have a podcast called, called Diving In with Funny and Jesse. And you can go there and enjoy the content that we're putting out or the conversations that we've actually put out so far. And now we're now dropping not just the audio but the visual to, the, to our podcast as well. So you can head to our second channel and check out the visual from there um we also have a patreon so you guys can feel free to become members and support us there as well and a big shout out to the people that have subscribed to our channel you guys are the best thank you very much a big shout out to people that are request stuff interact with us and so many things that you guys do for us are very very thankful and as you can tell from the title a big shout out to the person that suggested this as you can tell from the title today we'll be reacting to watching startup comedy tv series movies etc so without wasting time let's get into the video brother muhammad from jordan says what's the ruling on watching movies tv series stand-up comedian uh, um, programs any kind of what they call nowadays entertainment that has sexual implications, insinuations, hints, um, bad words. Akhi Ach, Muhammad, all of this is totally prohibited in Islam. Now, I'm talking about Islam. I'm talking about Quran and Sunnah. Nowadays, unfortunately, Muslims have been brainwashed. They don't look at things from the perspective of halal and haram. They don't want to know whether Allah approves of it or not. Though they know deep down that this is prohibited and Allah Azza wa is angry with them. But people don't care. People are so drifted away from Quran and the Sunnah. They just look like Muslims, talk like Muslims, but actually when push comes to shove, they might not be Muslims. So anything that has music, any program that has men and women mixing or women who are not abiding by the hijab and there's no program that you find women abiding by the hijab. This is not the hijab. When she has full uh, makeup on five, 10 kilograms of uh, foundation and um, uh, shading and mascara and all these, the whole nine yards, and then she, she's wearing, covering her head. What is this? Is it, I'm, I'm hijabi. No, you're not hijabi. Give me a break. This is haram. If it has music, it's haram. If it has obscenity and profanity, the words that they use, the context of the program of the film, it's haram. All of these are tools of shaitan to brainwash us, to make us freaks that are not related to our religion, to Islam, the religion of purity, the religion of peace, the religion of chastity, the religion of righteousness. The Prophet ﷺ said the believer is not a slanderer, is not someone who uses obscenity and profanity, does not curse. And all what we see, all what we're bombarded by through entertainment is things that take you out of the circle of Islam into the circle of evil. May Allah Azza wa protect us. Very interesting uh, video to listen to. I mean, at the end, this is what I say. 
this is what gets me confused because last time i asked about music after reacting to something some of you guys said music without instruments is fine but then also i noted that she was talking about songs that are misleading many times there's even cartoons nowadays contain images or messages that mean something else be it sexual be it abusive so many things that are distracting if it's um watching comedy tv series or movies that um or listening to music that's just preaching maybe uh awful things things like um you know what these songs are nowadays talk about if he's talking about such things then i would have to agree that those things are bad but then if we're going to listen to a song that purely has no bad intent or bad words then i personally think it's fine anyone can do whatever they do if you like listening to music that's bad mm, consider things think about it why should you be listening about a song that's talking about um um maybe killing someone why should you listen to uh songs that are talking about i don't even know just bad things in this world we should the, the more we listen to these things or watch these things the, the more they bec they replay in our mind and we end up doing some of these wrong things that these things are showing us or teaching us or we're hearing whatever the case is so why not feed our minds with something positive something that we may even if we think about it when we apply it out there it's going to result in something good it's easier said than done but at the end of the day i think um we can reason it's up to us to reason should i listen to this should i not should i consume this should i not but otherwise this was very interesting to listen to his opinion he shared it my opinion i'm sharing it and will come your opinion as well let us know what you think about this particular video and what was being spoken about make sure to give a big shout out to the person that suggested this make sure you give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video